Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, to my Zion Hope family and to all you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, good morning to each of you. This is Pastor T, Tony McGee, and I'm the senior pastor of Zion Hope Church located in the city of Indianapolis, Indiana. I want to thank you for taking time to tune in today for our daily diet of devotion because each and every weekday, Monday through Friday, as we lead up to Christmas, I'm going to give you a daily diet of devotion to help feed us spiritually. Every day leading up to Christmas, we're going to discuss a different gift that we can give to our Heavenly Father on Christmas. After all, he has given us the greatest gift of all in giving us his darling son, Jesus the Christ, who hung, bled, and died on the cross for our sins. And for that, we ought to be thankful. The first two gifts that we discussed that we could be able to present to God during Christmas were the gifts of humility and the gifts of repentance. Those were the first two gifts we talked about being able to give to God. Today, we want to talk about giving him the gift of serving. This Christmas, giving God the gift of serving. To serve God is to serve others. And the gift of serving others is one of the greatest spiritual gifts that we can give to our Heavenly Father. As we take time and, and effort to serve others, we are really putting that time and that energy and that effort into serving the Lord. In Psalms 102, the psalmist writes, Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. In this psalm, in the 100, and, uh, 100 Psalm verse 2, the word worship, it literally means to serve. So you could say, instead of saying worshiping the Lord, you could say serve the Lord with gladness. That's what the psalmist was writing. And many times we can unintentionally forget that service is really an act of worship. In fact, um, to have a healthy relationship with God without being willing to serve, it's nearly impossible because God wants us to serve others. God wants us to help others. God wants us to come alongside others because that's what we've been created to do. So today, the gift that you can give God and the gift that you can give others this Christmas is the willingness to serve. And I know that that service will look different for each and every one of us. Everyone will not serve in the same way, and that's okay. I also understand that serving will vary at different stages in our lives. Our service may depend on our age. Our service may depend on our circumstances. And our service may depend on which season in life we are currently living in. It may be different during various times of our lives. But the fact remains with this. All of Christ's followers should be worshiping him through love and serving others. Jesus told his disciples, by this shall all people know that you're my disciples when you have love for one another. So each and every day when we wake up in the morning, we should wake up with love in our hearts and we should wake up with serving in our minds. The psalmist reminds us that when we worship God through service, we are to do so with gladness. So wake up today with, with love in your heart. Wake up today with serving on your mind and do so with gladness. When we are serving God and serving others, we're to serve with joyful songs in our hearts. We should be happy when we serve. We should be delighted when we serve. And it ought to be a pleasure for us to be able to serve. A great way to see if we are actually growing in our relationship with God is to take note of how you feel about serving. Are you happy to serve others in the name of Jesus? Do you see service to God as work or worship? Is it a burden for you to serve or is it a blessing for you to serve? That will tell us where we are in our relationship with God and whether or not we are truly growing in that relationship. 
As our faith in Christ deepens and grows, our view of service changes so that we begin to understand that serving is not a duty, but serving is a privilege. Serving is not a mandate, but serving is a delight. I believe that it was Mother Teresa who once said, we cannot do great things on this earth, only small things with great love. We cannot do great things on this earth, only small things with great love. God is not asking us to change the world all at once. God is asking us to only serve the person that he's put in front of us at this very moment. And then at the next moment, when he places someone else in your life, that's when you're to serve them. It's then the next person, then the next person, then the next person. He's not asking us to change the world all at once. When we are faithful to serve in the small things, that's when God will use us in big ways. When we're faithful to serve in the small things, that's when God will use us in big ways. And you know what? We may never know the true impact of our service to God in this lifetime. However, rest assured, we can trust God at his word. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, the Apostle Paul writes, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Keep serving, because your labor in the Lord is not in vain. What would happen if you and I and if all of God's people begin to see service as an act of worship to God? Think of the impact that we could have if we saw our service as worshiping God. Things could change in our families if we decided to serve them. Things could change in our relationships if we decided to serve others. Things could change in our marriages if husbands and wives will come and serve one another. Things would change in relationships between parents and children if they were willing to come and serve one another. Things could change in our neighborhoods. Things could change in our community. Things could change in our country if we were willing to serve one another. And we can have an impact in our churches and in the world if we were faithful to do the small things with great love. Dear God, I want to worship you today by, by serving others in your name. I'm asking you, God, to please open up my eyes in the name of Jesus. Open up my heart in the name of Jesus to the opportunities that you place in my path today so that I can be able to love and serve others. Lord, give me a heart of compassion and a spirit of boldness to share your love with those who you place in my path today. Lord, these and all blessings... I pray in your name, amen. This Christmas, give God and give others the gift of serving. Thank you for tuning in to Pastor T's Daily Diet of Devotion. Please tune in each weekday, Monday through Friday, as we continue our series on this Christmas. What gifts or gifts are you going to give to Christ? And if you want to worship with us, please join us every Sunday. At 9.30 a.m., we have Sunday School at the Hope Cafe. At 11 a.m., we have in-person worship services, as well as Children's Church and Teen Church, and please bring your family. If you can't attend in person, you can always join us online at Zion Hope Church on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook Live channel. May God bless you, may God keep you, and may have heaven smile upon you. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. Love you much. Pastor T.